Behind me is a 1995 StarCraft Fishmaster. This boat has got us up and down Lake Erie time and time again, catching some really good walleye. I've taken my whole family out on this boat. We've enjoyed ourselves. We enjoyed having others. But you guys remember when I said, I need to upgrade. 25 feet. I got to upgrade, right? I'm trying to tell you that for you. Trying to tell me that? I got to upgrade. I don't think I can do anything this big, but I'm telling you, I'm gonna start looking. You seen the Baja Cruiser. It was nice. That's not the only reason why I wanted to upgrade. I've actually been looking a little bit before then anyhow, but it is definitely gonna be so sad to see this boat go. But we are going from this, guys, to All right, here we go. 2011 StarCraft Fishmaster. And she is a beauty. Look at her. Oh my goodness, big deep V. Look at this, Minn Kota. This is nice. It's 19 feet, nine inches. Well, they say 19.6 on there. But look how high it is. See where I'm at? This boat is to my head. This thing is huge compared to the other one. Starcraft know what they're doing with this Fishmaster. Let me get inside and show you guys. Okay, this is what we're at. Look at this. We're gonna start here at the back of the boat and show you guys this. I absolutely love these seats right here. I love the cutout because the beautiful thing about it is these seats actually come out. See how that works? And then I can step into this space and then net the fish really easy. I'll be that close to the water. It does have a huge splash wheel, so I'm very happy and excited about that. Here we go with our first fish finder. This is one of the smaller ones that we have for this one. HDS 5, the, the Rants. I think this is a portable thing. It has a hookup for it down underneath there that'll hook into this. And then we have another one up front, and I'll show you where we could put this in the bow part of the boat and hook it up in there as well. Here we have another seat. I love that, love that. Look at this. Look at this view, guys. 100 inch beam. That's what I'm talking about. Oh my goodness. Look at this. 150 horsepower. That thing is huge. It's huge. You remember my 40, old 40 horsepower motor? This is like gonna kill it. I'm, I'm guessing this is gonna be able to get about 40, 45 miles per hour uh, riding out there on a flat lake. And then I have my 9.9 mercury four stroke motor right there i'm going to use that to kind of push the boat along when i'm trolling now but man now we have other thing that's good about this boat it has our, our hose so we can take this while we're out there in the water use that and uh, wash down the boat if we needed to so this bimini top that comes with it is really nice because it also has side curtains on there i'm guessing at some point one of my other videos, you'll be able to probably see how that's all set up as well, but not gonna show that for right now. You guys seen my other boat, and you know, you know what I like to do is remove these seats that's back here. That way I can have more walking room in this area. With this boat having this 100 inch beam, this is nice for Lake Erie or any other lake that you're gonna go on. While I have this open, I'm gonna show you some of the storage we have. I mean, we have tons of batteries on here, but this one has oil. So we got that in there. Then we have our small cubby, just like the old Fishmaster, that 1995 Fishmaster, still made by StarCraft. We have another storage under here, which we have a couple of tackle items in there, lures. We have battery one back there, another tackle box, planter board. When you're looking for a boat, make sure that you get a boat that has storage, so that way you don't be bringing things on the boat every time you go out. A lot of this storage, though, was taken up by batteries. What this is is a, a charger. I don't know if you can see that. And then you have another battery right there. So that's battery two with its charger. And then we have rod storage right here. I have two of them on this side. Then we go over here, we have another two on that side, which I love having the rod storage as well. It's not lockable, but I'm glad to have that storage on there. So one thing that the boat did not come with is rod holders. It has a nice track system, which I love completely. I love these type of boats that have the track system like this, but I would want that rod holders coming with the boat. I got them ordered online and they said it's gonna take eight weeks, eight weeks to come. They said eight weeks because apparently there's a shortage of aluminum. 
So I'm not the only one waiting. There's a lot of people that's waiting for, for anything, I guess, that's made with aluminum. So after eight weeks, get them installed, be out there trolling. Till then, I'm gonna have to do some walleye fishing or any other fishing totally different way. I'm not gonna be able to troll. So we'll see how that goes. Now, I skip past this. This is what's used to control which batteries are gonna be on or off. I don't know how to use it yet. Like I said, I haven't been out there on the water yet, so we'll see how this works when I actually get out on the water. All right, let's move forward. I'm gonna go to this side of the boat. We have nice cup holder, and what do we have in here? Clicker. That's right, we have our deep, very deep glove box. Look at that, it's really nice and deep. Put a lot of stuff in there, so I really like that for storage. We move on over to this side. We have our dashboard. We have our little ranch HDS 8. It's an 8 inch screen right there. That's going to give us side scanning, down scanning. Another thing this boat has, you guys remember seeing that engine mount motor. So this is what controls it. You see that? Only forward and reverse. I don't know. It just goes forward and reverse. I think I heard someone say before that they use it mostly for boat control. But I don't know. I can't see using that maybe if the fish are are shallow and you're not, not trying to spook them but i mean we have a 9.9 .9 mercury engine which I, I would imagine would be really quiet so tell me what you guys think about that engine mount motor and whether that's going to be something that i would be able to use and how other people probably use that a lot of good options for that we have the power source for the kicker and also our main motor, 150 Mercury. Nice cup holder, ship to shore radio, marine audio radio, and our dash with all our dials on it. So, and this goes to the front of the boat. Before I go up there, we have ourselves a live well right here. Now, answer this for me. This is a 41 gallon live well which is really nice size. When we fish out on Lake Erie, I tend to use a cooler. Put ice in it, put the fish in there, keeps them fresh. What I thought about doing is using the live well, putting ice in it, and using that for the fish. Or do I just use it as a live well, put the fish in there? I haven't seen anybody that's out on Lake Erie fishing using the live well to keep their fish. Tell me what I can do with this or how I can use, I want something simple. I want it to be easy. I want to keep the fish fresh. That's really what I'm looking for. All right, so moving along, we have another storage compartment, which guess what? Which has flotation device, but also it has several batteries. So look at that. We have one, two, three, four batteries in there. Just battery crazy. So all the storage, a lot of the storage is taken up by batteries. And then another, whatever this is, switch to choose which batteries we're gonna use. And then one thing I did not have for my other boat is an actual trolling motor. This is a Minn Kota. This is the real deal. This is going to be my autopilot system that I'm going to use. So I'm going to run my system a little bit different. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use this for my autopilot. And then I'm going to use the kicker to give us a little bit of propulsion. So that way it'll make it a smoother ride. Um, one thing. Oh, I did forget to show you this other storage compartment down here now there's nothing well there's there's a paddle in there right now but this storage goes really far back there i think it's a really good option if i wanted to put some other things in here i like all that space that it's providing look at this this is beautiful a lot of space a lot of space starcraft fishmaster you guys got it on point i love the first boat that i had and i'm loving this one look at the space that i have all this space right here. I'm sitting down in the front part and look at this. Just beautiful. All right, so there's something else I wanna show you. Now this is apparently some sort of a weather system. Not sure if I'm gonna use that. They say it links with uh, Sirius and I don't know if I wanna get a subscription to use that. So we'll see. Super excited for the new boat. I got a lot of plans with everything. Um, thanks for watching and checking me out. Always keep fishing. Let's go. It's not on you.